good afternoon. This is uh, Bob Batia from TrueCharts.com. Wanted to give a quick video. It's been a really long time since we posted one on YouTube. Uh, we've been going through some trials and errors with our site and trying to make it more usable, more friendly, and uh, making it useful for everyone that uses it. So we have added some significant features and we are updating the site still and we'll be adding trading soon from our site directly with our partner company, Tradier Brokerage, where you have unlimited trading. So anyway, let's get on with a quick rundown on where the markets are uh, and we'll show you uh, what we think are the next uh, few things that may happen. And also we are gonna go through quickly how to run a fast screener to find stocks that you may be interested in buying. So let's quickly go to Explore Stock Chart. So as you can see here, we've done some updates on the UI look, uh, looks a lot better. Uh, the charts are, uh, have added more features. Uh, and also we have additional fundamental information that we've added. And this all comes to us from Tradier Brokers. They've been very kind to us and uh, giving us the accessibility to their APIs to use this for the data feed. Uh, as you can see here, we are looking at Facebook stock. So let's just quickly go over the markets. What have the markets been doing? Well, we had this huge, as you can see, this pullback during the March swoon. Uh, you know, this huge drop you can see here. And then you have this huge move up. And this is the diamonds, which is the ETF for the Dow Jones. And you can see it had uh, what everybody was concerned about was this island reversal where you have this gap up and then you have a gap down and the market is sort of consolidating. We think it's a tough call here, uh, primarily because we suspect there's a lot of money printing being going on from the Fed, you know, printed about $3 trillion in the span of two months. That tells us that money is definitely going into the markets and uh, that's where we are seeing this huge moves up in many, many stocks. Let me just give you a few examples, uh, Spotify, you know, we had picked it long time ago at about 140, today it touched 250 we think it's a short here and then shopify we really missed this one uh, really disappointing we missed this one um, very huge big move you can see here beautiful turn and let me just show you quickly if you use our strategies you can see quickly where the buy and sell signals occur this is one of our um, fast trading strategy you can see it had put out a buy at around 400 something and it went all the way to 800. That would have been a huge move. That's about $40,000 on 100 shares. Just think about that for a second. The other stock I'm gonna talk about quickly is Adobe. And you can see that also made a huge move. You can see where the buy was put out, about 300. Look at where the stock is, 440. Huge move here. And then obviously everybody's favorites, Apple. And we'll, and we'll show how you know, where we put out a buy signal on this stock. And you can see what a beautiful buy signal at around 265, stock is at 365, a $100 move uh, and no sell yet, okay? So that tells us that our strategies are working. So I highly recommend that people use this. Again, this is for uh, training, you know, so you understand, you know, that our signals are working. Uh, be mindful that you know, we are not telling you to buy something. We are just showing you what our technical signals are saying. So let's look at a few other things here, QQQ. So oh, okay, let me log in here. So after 14 clicks, it will make you register or log in. So just make sure you're registered. Um, so we'll show the QQQ. And you can see what a fantastic move it's had from the bottom. It was like a beautiful buy. We owned it, uh, but we decided to diversify and sell, you know, hold this with the stocks that were part of the QQQ rather than hold the QQQ. And I think it's sort of topping out here. You can see the MACD has uh, been topping out and the volume has been going down on this move up, which is very interesting to note. But the money flow in the QQQ is very strong. You can see here, this is showing that. Again, let's look at the buy-sell strategy. Uh, you can see here, let's see, where did we put out a buy? Should be very close to three, uh, right here, about 190. And today's at 250, that's about a $60 move. So anyway, I just want to quickly show you these charts. Uh, you can see here, we have a lot of information. 
uh, we are long uh, JP Morgan. Uh, we really like to use options in our trading. So I'll briefly talk about that some other time. But quickly, I wanted today just want to go over how you run our screener. So you can see here, there's two screeners we have. One is a single dynamic scan, and then we have multiple dynamic scan. We'll just today go over single dynamic scans and how it works. So you can see here, you can pick either any market you want to filter stocks from, or you can filter all the markets, right? And there's several indicators here that you can pull from. And the purpose of this is we, dis we are technically inclined uh, to buy and sell stocks because the market is trading technically. So it is best to work technically off, you know, using technicals to find stocks that may work, okay? So typically what I do is at the end of the day, I will look at some, you know, uh, scanners that I build out. And then you can say, I like, I like this particular one. I'll tell it, hey, you find me all stocks that move by $1, were up by $1 and have minimum volume of 1 million shares, okay? And I'll say, start the scan. It runs, you can see, very, very fast, and it gives me a quick list. Now, this is obviously from the day before, because the market is not closed yet, our database is not updated. So you can run this end of the day, and you can sort it by basically the volume, and you can put, like it said, it found 253 stocks that moved up, above $1. So it can be 2, 5, 10, 15, whatever, but minimum volume was 1 million shares. Probably what I'll do is I'll just pick the top 100 and say go. And the best thing about our site is basically you don't have to go click every chart. You can see the percentage changes. You can see the volume. You can see the open, high, close, and you can filter by the price also. So you can filter by any one of these fields here. You can filter by change, exchange, any of these. So I, I typically filter by volume because that's how I like to look at things. So let's just say I want to quickly, this is the most amazing feature. You can just quickly mouse over the chart and you can see it. You can see all the technical indicators. It shows the RSI. It shows the moving average 13 and 50, the volume and the MACD. So it's very quickly gives you an idea of, hey, should I buy the stock? Should I not buy the stock? I'm very skeptical about these small stocks. I don't trade in them. I don't like them. Very simple. It's for people who want to lose money. So I just stay away from them as much as possible. Uh, and if you're if you're a risky type of person and willing to risk five thousand dollars and don't care about it, hey, that's okay, no problem. But let's look at the SPY here. You know, it said it was up a buck forty three yesterday. You can see it's looking like it's trying to top out. And so you can quickly go through these charts and find things that may work for you. And you can say, hey, you know, this looks pretty good. I might be interested in buying. So a stock I picked uh, recently was. Um, you can see this clock did very well. Uh, we had picked work uh, slack. So you can see the chart here. It was up, uh, well, showing negative today because collecting using today's data. But the report is from end of day yesterday. Uh, so I picked a stock, uh, let's see here, uh, a pro, uh, Peloton. So I had picked it and I bought it as soon as it broke out and went up and I closed my position when it touched this morning, 55 and a half, 56 range. So you can quickly click on this and you can save it to your favorites. You can say, hey, add to my favorites. You can see I have so many lists. You can just create a quick list, my stocks or something, um, 0623, it'll create a watch list for you and it'll save it. Now you can say, you see, you can say watch list added six successfully. And you can quickly so show my favorites. And you can click on the latest one, which was my stock 623. Sorry. Let's look here. My stock 623. And bingo, Peton is there. So on that date, it shows you uh, Pro Peloton was picked in your list. And you can delete it. No big deal. It's gone from the list. OK. And you can see it's not available anymore. Stock deleted. So, so these are cool features we add to our site. You know, not many sites. I don't think I've seen any site that has these type of features. So I highly recommend you use this screener. One additional screener I'll quickly show you that I like very much is, you know, MACD. Uh, so I use MACD, which is moving average convergence. So I just look at bullish MACD if I want to go long on something. You can update the parameters, but this is very standard. So I just stay with the standard. I don't worry about it. I just use what's standard. You can see it runs a very fast screener. 
quickly and it'll tell you what stocks had a positive MACD the end of day yesterday. I quickly sort by volume and bingo. I have all the stocks that had positive and you can see there were 221 stocks that had a positive MACD. So obviously that tells me, you know, the stocks are gonna move up uh, based on the MACD. So look at, let's look at PayPal, for example. So it had a positive MACD yesterday. Okay, so let's look at it. You can see that a positive MACD yesterday and it sure enough, it went up today. It was up by two and a half bucks. So if you have bought it at the beginning of the morning, you would have seen the stock move up nicely. HMY, Harmony Gold, MACD went positive, stock was up today. Uh, let's look at Gold Fields. MACD went positive, stock was up today. So this is a very, very good report to run end of day uh, as a screener, just to find some maybe cheap stocks if you're interested. This stock did not move up, see it moved down. So that tells you, you know, sometimes you have to be careful uh, by looking at the RSI and things like that. Let's look at GFI RSI. You can see the RSI was below 80 or 70. So the stock kept moving up, the trend was up. So that's why everything moved up and the volume was very good too. So just folks, hey, try this out. We highly recommend it. We are working on a lot of things and a lot of improvements still on our site. Uh, we made some changes and improved this quite a bit. Uh, you can also click on the chart here and it will take you to the stock charts page and give you all the fundamentals. And then you can also play with the technicals. You can see we had a buy recommendation around here. Stock moved nicely from about seven something to nine bucks. Huge move, thousand shares. You would have made about $1,500. A very, very nice move. And we give you also what the company does and real-time news. Anyway, that's all I had, folks. And let me know if you have any questions. You can email me at twocharts.com at gmail.com. Thank you.